So after an earthquake, an earthquake has just come and rumbled through, there's destruction. The most important thing is make sure you are wearing shoes. Above all else, if you're able to, put shoes on your feet. Um, just because you don't know what glass or any, what has fallen on the ground, you just don't know what's out there. So make sure you're, if you can, put shoes on as quickly as you're safely able to. Next thing is make sure you proceed to the emergency evacuation place, whether wherever it might be in your house or outside your house, as long as you, you and your family know where it is, make sure that you all evacuate to that place. And then it's a time to assess damages. Is anyone injured? And that might be one of your responsibilities, might be your parents' responsibility, but figure out who's injured, what needs to be taken care of. It is very important this time not to use your phones because the cell phone towers are going to be getting flooded with people who truly have emergencies or people who don't have this information. So your, the phones should only be used for true emergencies. There really is something that cannot be taken care of on your own. You need special care, paramedics or whatever it might be. But for the most part, and so that's why making sure you're not using your phone just to text your friends going, did you feel that? Did you feel that? There'll be plenty of time in the future to discuss it. So don't use your phones. Also, if there's no electricity, you might not know when the electricity is coming back. So make sure that you're not draining your phone battery in case there is an emergency later on. So don't use your phones unless it's a true emergency or if you're calling long distance to go and let somebody far away know that you're safe. Um, but then it's kind of assessing the damage after an earthquake, making sure. And often this is a... This is a major event. This isn't adrenaline pumping like you're running it, your, your body is kind of is in survival mode. Like, what do I do next? So it is common afterwards to just kind of to cry, to have that kind of release of like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. And so this is something that you might not realize how you're going to react until you're actually in that moment. But it's okay if you end up crying. That is a natural reaction of just, oh my goodness, what has just happened? And that's where you have to then decide, okay, how can I deal with this responsibly? But the most important thing overall is to stay calm. Yes, this is crazy. Yes, there's all sorts of stuff going on that, but to stay as calm as you can. Because it is an earthquake and things, things are going to be changing, but if you're able to stay calm, that'll help the people around you stay calm. So your responsibility is to try to stay calm, to make sure you know, you practice, you know where to go that's safe, you know what things you need to take care of. So making sure that you are in, you're paying the most attention to what's going on so that you can stay the safest immediately after an earthquake.